doing the Gravitrack starter set. Yeah, we saw this and it looked really awesome. Yeah. And we were very lucky to have it sent to us. So thank you to Ravensburger for sending us this um, cool Gravitrack starter set. Thank you. So it says on the front, experience the power of gravity. Awesome. Wow. Well, you can play the game from ages eight to 99. Oh, so if you're 100, then it's no good for you. <laughs> yeah, you're too old if you're 100. You can play it when you're 99, though. Okay, so make sure you get this and play it before your 100th birthday. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so should we get this open? Yep. Okay. Oh, I like boxes to open like yeah, it's this. Yeah, good, isn't it? Yeah. Whoa. Ooh, so, what do we get inside? So we've got this. Okay, so just some... Um, Instruction. This is just an information leaflet. Those must be the instructions. Yeah. And it looks like they come in lots of different languages. So we don't need that one because that's in German. Um, we don't need that one because that's in Italian. That one's GB, so that's the one we need. Okay. So if you keep that. Actually, do you want me to keep the instructions so I can help? Yeah. Okay. So it looks like these are like tracks, maybe. Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah. So these are the tracks. These look like, hmm, not really sure. These are height tiles. Ah, okay. So these are the small height tiles, and then there should be some large height tiles in there, which and are like a grey colour. Like these. Yep, so those are the large height tiles. Mm -hmm. And then you've got loads of, if I show you in the booklet, um, so you've got the essential elements, you've got the basics, the special, and then the level two. So there's all of this stuff inside the box. Um, and then there is a task booklet. Okay. So these are the base plates and these are the levels and there's your instruction booklet. Mm -hmm. So if we move everything out of the way and what we'll do is we'll try and build, this is a great box actually, it's, um, it's really nice that it's actually a proper box that isn't gonna get wrecked. Yeah. Right, so where do we start from? Let's have a look. Okay, so maybe track A is just gonna be a simple one, do you think? One, two, three. Yeah, track B. Okay, so we'll try a simple one first, yeah? Okay. So what we'll do is we'll make an easy one for you so that you can just see how it works quickly. And then maybe if we build up and do a harder one as well. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so our track is now all set up. We followed the instructions, all set. All set. Do you want to give it a go then, Oscar? Yeah, let's go. Wow. wow, that's so cool. It yeah. works really well, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you want to do it again? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, oh you didn't even, <laughs> you didn't even put it in. Oh. Now, this track can be made into loads and loads of different designs. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you. So that's an easy track, and it's just probably taken us about five minutes just to work out how to put it together, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, so that's really good. And then there's obviously track B, which is a bit more like complicated. Track C, again, even more complicated. Track D, I think we should go for it and try and make uh, maybe one of the really hard ones, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? So do you want to go through the book and pick which one you want to do? Yep. Um, and we'll see if we can build it for you and then show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so we've just finished making Configuration H. It's probably taken us, what do you think Oscar, around about 10 minutes to put it together? Mm, yeah. Maybe give or take a um, couple of minutes either side. Um, but this is super awesome. awesome. Oscar's been so excited all the way through. Mm -hmm. He has needed a little bit of help from a grown up, but even I have enjoyed making this and I'm so excited to see the result. Yeah. I think this is the good thing about things like this, isn't it? You can build it and then you get to see like, um, what happens at the end yeah. so you get that really good sort of ending on it as well don't you mm -hmm. okay so do you want to this is quite a complex one guys we picked one of the difficult ones so that you can see it in action yeah, we picked the second most difficult one. yeah it was h wasn't it so okay do you want to press let's go back. two three in the end way <laughs> Okay, let's go. Three. 
Three, two, one. Let me show you what happens with this bit. Woo! Do you see how fast that goes? Yeah. That is amazing. So let's show everybody what this little launcher bit does. So if you push a ball along, woo! Do you see Ooh. that? I like it when they go down the hole. Okay. And dokey. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, this is awesome. So we've really enjoyed playing with this this morning, haven't we? Yeah. I've actually enjoyed it myself. Um, and this is something that I could see myself actually setting up and using on by myself. It's really cool. It is true that it's good for all ages, isn't it? Yeah. And I can see actually myself and Splatdown sitting down in the evenings and having a little tinker around with this and sending the balls around. It's really, really good fun. Yeah. Um, you can obviously, it's got the booklet with it so you can set up um, the configurations how they tell you. But I suppose you could also have a play around yourself, can you? And see if you yeah. can make any good like marble runs out of it. Um, and where it obviously works with gravity, um, it's pretty cool because you've got the different, the various levels, so you can run the balls down from one level to another. And it comes with normal light ball bearings and also the magnetic ones so that it will shoot through the various little contraptions that you can get. So yeah, what do you think, Oscar? Do you think it was easy to put together or was it quite hard? I think it was quite hard, but like, it wasn't too bad, was it? You did need a bit of grown-up help, and sometimes even I had to look and go, oh, I'm not sure where that goes. But we did figure out, and it probably only took us 10 minutes, and this is one of the hardest tracks. Um, so obviously, if you start off with the smaller tracks first and sort of work your way around it. But the only thing I'll say about it, that's it, yeah. What I will say, though, is that all of the components are really um, hard-wearing. They're not kind of flimsy plastic, so I know that they're going to last a long time. Um, just for instance, these ladders, um, the runs, they they're not really bendable so they're not going to get broken really yeah. um and yeah everything's really easy to clip together it's all got the same sort of configuration on the bottom so they've all got this hexagonal shape on the bottom and they all sort of slot into each other um, and all of the little green bits are really easy to pull in and out as well so there's hours and hours of building fun here isn't there and yeah. and also um a learning opportunity because of gravity and the different forces at play as well so it's going to be a really good learning tool for us and i know that even um henry and jackson would like to play with this wouldn't they yeah yeah so what do you think then oscar about this toy i think that this is 10 out of 10 awesome do you yeah oh awesome that's really good you don't often rate stuff 10 out of 10 do you <laughs> but do you think you're gonna have some more fun with this and play around with it a bit more mm -hmm. cool so these are available in the shops guys, so if you do head out and go and buy them, make sure you tag us in your um, videos and your photos, we'd love to see them, we'd love to see all the different designs that you've made and um, some videos of all of the different runs as well. Mm -hmm. So we hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you did then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, bye!